Prophet Odumeji was an armed robber and a terrorist. See confession video of the cleric. Good morning, everyone. I thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got in here this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that Prophet Udmeji was an armed robber and a terrorist. See confession video of the cleric. Celebrity pastor Shukwemeka Sari Udmeji recently shocked the public with a startling confession about his past. In a viral video, the controversial pastor admitted that admitted to living a life of crime, including armed robbery, before his conversion to Christianity. Odumeje, who is known for his dramatic approach to ministry, shared personal details about his troubled youth in Onisha, Anambra State, where he grew up in a crime-hidden environment. This revelation has ignited heated discussion online, with many experts in disbelief at the pastor's criminal history. Udumeje, also called Prophet Udumeje, recounted his early involvement in a gang of robbers when he was just 14 years old, raised in Inewi Street, Onisha. He described how the violent surroundings influenced his past, leading him to criminal activities. According to him, his transformation began as his devout mother introduced him to Christianity, guiding him away from a life of crime. He described his former self as a terrorist before undergoing this significant change. In addition to this shocking uh, admission, Udmeji issued a strong warning to his critics during church service. Yeah, he boldly declared that he would not depend on law enforcement to handle those who criticize him on social media. On social media, but he would instead use the spiritual power to confront them. The, the declaration has gained significant attention online, as many reacted to the statement with both concern and curiosity. Udmeji expresses frustration with individuals who malign him on social platforms, emphasizing that he monitors this criticism closely. He warned that persistent critics would face serious consequences, suggesting that he would resort to divine retribution. I don't call the I don't call the police for enemies, indicating his readiness to handle the situation through spiritual means. His remarks took a darker turn when he started. If I don't if if I don't kill you, know that Jesus is not a true God, which was met with applause from his congregation. This alarming statement has raised eyebrows online, with many questioning the aggressive tone of his rhetoric. Known for his unconventional preaching style and theatrical church performance, Udmeje is no stranger to controversy. His latest statements have fought for that debate, particularly about the violent undertone of his words. Despite the widespread reaction, the pastor has yet to clarify his remark, leaving the public to interpret his bold warnings. And that is all we have for you guys concerning this headline today. This morning, we says here that Prophet Udmeje, I was an armed robber and a terrorist. See confession video of the cleric. Well, you had it for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right here and right now is to tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on this video to get more updates concerning this in the next future to come. Hmm. Well, we all know the most famous pastor in Nigeria now, Prophet Udumeje. Yes, known for his own style of passing the word of God. You guys, you, you, you guys know him very popular on social media, app, TikTok, and all with, with Instagram. Well, this same Ujumeje, he shocked everybody. You. Yes, because obviously he was doing some confession in his own, in his own church, and he talk, he's telling the congregation about his past. Mm -hmm. He was telling his own congregation about his past before he became a pastor. And this video went viral because this man admitted that he was an armed robber before. Mm -hmm. He admitted that he's an armed robber. We all know this man for his dramatic approach when it comes to ministry. But now, he shared his past and everybody was like, really? 
Hey. This one, this one, but I don't pass Gary. Udmeji, who is the so called prophet Udmeji, re encountered his early involvement in a gang of robbers when he was just 14 years old. He said that he, when he joined all this armor by he was 14 years old and were doing all, all sorts of things like robbing this place, doing this one, doing that one, doing this one. Yes, he was doing all sorts of things. But he thanked his mother that was guiding him away the life of crime and showed him the way. His mother who introduced him to Christianity, guiding him away from a life of crime. He, he, he then described his former self as a terrorist because undergoing this significant change wasn't easy for him. Well, I understand that. I understand him very well because change is not easy. Change is not easy. No matter from good to bad or bad to good, it ain't easy. Well, to me, it's kind of a surprising thing that this man was actually a terrorist before or an arm robber before. Like, seriously. I know my before. That's, that's to tell you that. Hmm, that, that is to tell you that the, the same way God called him um, Saul in the Bible and changed his name to Paul, that's the same way God arrested Udumeju Abina. Because Saul too was a bad person, then God arrest, arrested him and now he became poor, a good person. Yes. And I would like to say that God arrested Udmeji through his mother. And now he's a pastor, a very famous one for the matter of fact, who has a lot of followers and who has a lot of critics. Yes. He was even saying something concerning his critics, say that he's, he's looking at all these critics too, that when we start answering them, eh? <laughs> Good. But to me, let us be sincerely speaking here. This man being a former terrorist and a former Andrew arm robber, it, it has filled speculation online. People are commenting like fire on social media. People are commenting like fire. People are applauding him saying that, wow, no good pastor has a a, a good background. Or what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to leave a like on this video. Don't type the subscribe button as big on with the notification bell. So anytime I'm reading a video, you'll be the first to get notified about it. Once again, thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day out of you.